Time for our player profile here of the 2022 North Dakota Optimist Volleyball Series with us from Oaks, North Dakota. That is Abby Cox. And Abby, first and foremost, on um, being nominated, what does it mean for you to be one of the best senior athletes across the state in volleyball, getting to showcase your talent here across the state of North Dakota? Um, it feels to be, it's like an honor to be here and being able to be nominated. It just like shows all the hard work that me and all the other girls have put into this sport. And I'm just excited to be playing with the best in the state. A little something different this year than a uh, previous uh, volleyball series. There might've been class A versus class B or uh, the East versus the West. Now it's uh, everyone's kind of put together. So how fun is it going to be to play with some other girls across the state, which maybe you got to see on highlights or social media, but you never physically got to play within your region before Abby. I don't know. I'm just really excited because I am playing with some of my biggest opponents also. So I am really excited to see like what we can do together and how we can connect together because I've played against them since freshman year. Um, I think it'll be really fun that we're mixing up the teams this year instead of doing like the East and the West. I think it'll be like a better volleyball game. You mentioned about going up uh, playing with some of your biggest oppositions. Is that going to feel weird, at least for a week, knowing that that was always the girl that I was trying to beat? Now, all of a sudden, it's someone that I'm trying to set or, or help out, you know, on the back end? Yes, that'll be definitely a little weird feeling because I've play, been playing against them since freshman year. But I am really excited to see what we can all do together because we are one of the best in the state. When you go back during your time, favorite volleyball memory, is there one particular one that stands out in Oaks or is it maybe something a little bit different for you, Abby? Um, my freshman and sophomore year, we actually went to the state tournament. So that was my favorite memory of all most because we, not everyone gets to play in the state tournament twice. So yeah, that's one of my biggest memories and favorite memories. For you moving forward, what do you hope to learn or what did you learn from your teammates and coaches from on the volleyball court or even off the volleyball court as you kind of, you know, get to your next step in life here, Abby? Um, well, I've always thought like volleyball is not just a sport in my eyes. Like I've met a lot of my best friends in this sport. And I think being able to be like a great volleyball team, you need to have connections with everyone on the court. Um with these connections, it'll definitely make you connect easier on the court and make you win those games. Without that connection, it just really isn't there. Um, and that's not just like for volleyball, like it's for every sport also. So, yeah. Is Did you have a pregame meal? Did you have a superstition? Did you have to eat Skittles before a match? Uh, was there anything in that nature? Um, no, not really. But one thing me and my team have done since freshman year is we have dance parties before every game. So it just like keeps us loose and ready for the game. If you could go back to your 14 year old self, or if you were talking to an eighth grader or a freshman who's just kind of getting in the ropes, so to speak, of being a varsity athlete or getting into that high school program, what would be some words of advice or what would what would you tell them? Hard work definitely does pay off. Um, always trust your coaches and enjoy it while it lasts because it does go super fast. You mentioned about your coaches. Final thing for you, Abby. Uh, what, what Was there one thing that they kind of told you over the years or was there one thing that you will take away from your time as an Oaks Tornado? Um, not really. They just It's always the working hard aspect that I've always taken away from it. I started varsity my freshman year and I just think, being in all those camps, working hard, always hitting the gym, like being there for your team. That is something I've always done to be where I'm at today. And final thing for you, Abby, uh, once the Optimist Volleyball Series is done, kind of the high school years then are officially behind you a little bit. So what's next on, on your docket? Um, I'll be attending Mayville State University this fall, and I will be studying physical therapy. And I'm also pursuing volleyball there also. Well, congratulations. I know Mayville State will uh, be uh, thrilled to have you, and it will be a lot of fun to see you play in the North Star as well. That's always a really good volleyball conference. So, Abby, thanks so much for your time, and best of luck here in the Optimist Volleyball Series. Thank you.